Testing. Is this mic working? Where's Shane? Oh, there you are. Hey, so we've been riding this thing around with a PC5 in the auto tune, and you've been enjoying it, but I'd like to, I want to put a secondary fuel module on it. And that, that, uh, that unit will control the upper injector so we can modify the fuel not only with a lower injector but also on the upper injector, which should help you know, mid-range punch and top end power. What do you think about that? That sounds great. I think we should do it. All right, cool. Let's get started. Let's get on it. So we got the gas tank propped up, side covers off, seat off. What we need is... Uh, we need we parts. Need, we need parts. We need Weston. Where's Weston? Where is he? Where's Weston? Hey, guys. Hey. Hey, there, there he, is. he is. You got parts? Yeah, got parts. What do you got? Go. Awesome. All right. That's what you need. Secondary fuel module. All right, guys. Thanks, Weston. Yeah, no problem, guys. You guys need me for anything else? No. I think we're good. We're good. All right. Poof. <laughs> All right, we're ready to go. <laughs> okay, so we're going to lay this down beside the, uh, the PC5, and then we're going to use this... Uh, this jumper lead here is going to connect from, Combine the two. from one end to the other. Probably a little hard to see this, but... On here. And then if you can just lay that down in behind there and connect it. The biggest thing you want to do is make sure you have clearance for your seat, so make sure you align the PC5 and the secondary fuel module up correctly. And some people have the auto-tune in there too, so just gotta kinda make a little bit of room in here. And Donna just done a really good job at laying this stuff out, getting the ends just the right length and you know to fit the motorcycle. So each one of their units has a custom harness to fit the and this one works specific. for the R1 and the R6. Yeah, yeah. And it works good too. I really like it on the R6. So that's the key. This needs to be grounded to the engine and not to the battery. It's a little tricky if you don't take the tank off, but it can be done. Yeah, it's probably easier to take the tank off, but we saved a bit of time by leaving it on. We didn't spill any gas. I'm gonna just take this lead, we'll wrap it up, keep it up against the side of the frame here. Plenty of clearance there. Okay. There was the tank. We're good. All right, let's put her back together. Okay. Okay, well, now that we got all this done, final thing, update the firmware, program the, the power commander to accept the secondary fuel module. Let's do it. All right. All right, this is the thing that tricks most guys is the software update, right, and then doing the programming. And that's usually where guys get frustrated and they don't do it, and it's actually really simple if you just follow the instructions. So let me grab that laptop. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to connect to the power commander. Found it. Once it connects, it automatically hooks up. We're going to hit get map. All right. Then we're going to save it. Now that we've got that saved, we can do anything we want. We can always go back and load that map and send it to the PC5. We're going to do the firmware update to this power commander. So in the event that it didn't have that update, <laughs> So we'll, we'll accept the secondary fuel module. Okay. So we're going to go to we're going to go to Power Commander Tools. We're going to go to Update Firmware. We're going to click on the one that we want to do. We're going to update. Find the software. Okay. So it comes up complete, successful. We're good. We know it's good now. We're going to close that out. Then we're going to go to Power Commander Tools. Now, one of the things we've been doing is we've been running an auto tune. So we had a target air fuel feature that was set in here. Yep. And then we had the base map, and then we had the trim map. Mm -hmm. So we're probably pretty happy with the trim map, but I think we're just going to go in and zero it out, and it'll start correcting over the base map from okay. where it is now with both the lower injectors and the upper injectors evenly. So yeah. That usually works the best. Key switch on? Yes. Okay, we're all good. We're plugged in here. Thought that's right. Okay. All right. Well, that's it. So now, now what you're going to do is you're going to take it out and ride it around. 
And then when you come in, we'll save the auto corrections that it makes, and then it'll refine as the, as the day goes on. Each time we do a save and we update it, it'll, be, it'll run better and better. Gotcha.